In this live self-defense training video, I'm gonna show you the most dangerous techniques using your self-defense walking stick. You're gonna start with the stick in your back hand. Your front hand is up in front of your body for protection. The first technique that I want you to learn is this lifting motion that puts the bottom of your stick right between his legs. If you wanna come up and smash him in his chin, that's even more dangerous. But you're gonna simply lift and immediately address the attack. So the very first one is picking this up. The second one, the most dangerous techniques using your self-defense walking stick, is to pick it up and thrust it right into the soft tissue of his face. Think nose, eyes, teeth, throat. You're gonna take away his ability to see you or breathe temporarily, permanently here. You can stick it right in his solar plexus with this simple move. You pick it up and thrust. So the first one, snatch him up here, strike there. The third one is this turning motion. And I want you to see that you can practice this. Your hand is closed. It's just a simple figure eight motion. You spin to build power in your wrists. Spin, get a good feel for the technique. And then when you need it, he's far from you. You've got reach advantage because you're using a walking stick for self-defense. You pick this up, smash it into the side of his head, take away his ability to think or be awake turn off his operating system for self-defense. So from this position, quick, fast, explosive, turning motion to the side of the head, maybe into the neck or into the upper arm. You can even bring it down and smash through his legs. So a simple punch and turning motion. First one snatches him up here. Second one punching through here. Third one bringing it up here. Three of the most dangerous techniques you can do with your self-defense walking cane. Pick it up here, thrust. Number four, you're taking your entire body weight and you're pushing it right through, again, soft tissue in the face, nose, teeth, throat, solar plexus. Answer your phone, bring your hand here. This puts it in front of you, almost in a blocking motion. And then a simple, powerful thrusting motion. From here, you're gonna slide your hand to the end by pulling the back hand behind you and bring this down over the top smashing, just like you're chopping a block of wood, splitting a block of wood in the backyard. So you answer the phone, get your other hand on it, thrust, slide, smash. You can also bring that into one angle or to the other angle, going into the body, down into the knee, anywhere you need to put that second strike. First, answer your phone, get your front hand on it, thrust, pull, strike. It can be in your front hand. In your front hand, you can pick it up between his legs. In your front hand, you can smash up into his chin. Maybe he's reaching for you, smashing that straight up and stopping him from hitting you. From here in the front hand, you can turn it with that punching motion and snap it up along the side of his head. You can, in the front hand, pick it up and stick it right through his teeth, right through his throat, throw it with this hard piece of wood. From here, you're pushing straight through, turning here, pick it up, from here, turn your thumb and point it. Now from this position, this becomes one of the most dangerous techniques, self-defense techniques with your walking stick. You point it and then you push, just like you're sliding through. From here, point, thrust. Lift and thrust. Pick it up and thrust. From this position, you can then bring your hand into your shoulder and chop along the side of his head. So from here, point, thrust, pull, and chop. From the first chopping motion to the side of his head, take your back hand and punch, coming across and into the skull, the jaw, the neck, into the upper arm, wherever you need to strike to make him stop attacking. So you bring it up one, two, three, and then my favorite one is this last one that comes through. Just like you're doing a push-up motion, you're gonna take this hard bar of hickory and smash it right through his teeth right through his throat. Now from here, point, thrust, punch, push, two-handed push. You can practice these techniques over and over again. Put it in the front hand, one, two, three, four. I also want you to practice that figure eight motion, but this time with your hand in the middle of the stick, pulling to one side of the body and the other side of the body. Now this is not going to be a technique you use for self-defense, but this is going to build speed, power in your strikes. This is gonna make you stronger. You put it in the other hand and do the same thing. Then you wanna go from side to side, get a good feel for the transition. Put your hand on the side of your sticks, 
turn and pull it out. Turn and pull it out. That way, you can strike here, you can strike here, you can strike over the top, you can bring it up under his, the bottom into the side just by switching from side to side. Now, hello, David. It's good to see you. David, I saw uh, David was here. Um, David's in Belfast. Hello to everybody else. I didn't get to see everybody who's here, so if you just drop that in real quick. If you're here, I'd like to say hello to you, pick it up. But I wanted to get started with this video by showing you the most dangerous techniques because I want you to be able to practice them. Lift this up using your walking stick or a hiking pole, any kind. This is the Martial Arts Joe. This is 54 inches. It's an inch in diameter. This particular one is made out of hickory. All the dimensions are in the first link below. From this position, my favorite technique is always fighting behind the stick, pointing the thumb and thrust. So you can practice from here, pointing the thumb with the thrust and then lifting the back hand for a blocking motion. From here, you can bring that down and get an extra strike out of it. So I want you to practice this combination, push, thrust, uh, Privet, yeah, bring it back and bring the other side forward and bring the other side forward. Your hands come to the end, so you can slide one in, one out, and you bring it down, bring your hands out to the side, bring it down, bring it down. Going from side to side, practicing over the head. You're going to feel it really stretch your shoulders, and these aren't just like spins. The spins a lot of times, except for that first spin we did, a lot of the spins are just a way to build proprioception or spatial awareness, timing and distance, but you don't really use them for self-defense. These practice, this practice here where you're changing hands, you will use to hit somebody with. So you might be here thrusting, turning, striking here, bringing this side through, maybe striking the guy behind as he comes up behind you, pulling this through, striking here, sliding, and bringing the hands down. So this practice is something I want you to adopt, bringing it out over the head, down on the top. You can switch the feet, bring it forward, the striking side. You can also practice the thrusts. You can go from one side to the other side, front, back, side, changing your positions, but just work, mix up your practice. Get started, point, lift the back hand, step to the side and strike. So from here, one, two, and three. One, two, and come over the top. Thank you for watching this one. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I know it was really disconnected. I was trying to push it through fast and get the, get the uh, techniques in before we saw the comments. But I appreciate you being here either way. I appreciate your engagement, and I'll see you. Oh, please check the link below. I also put a little blurb in there. You, you asked me about working with me one-on-one. -on -one. I do private lessons online. Um, I, we find time to work together. I do them in small groups. I do half an hour, and I do one hour. All that information is below if you want to see that. You guys have been great. I'll see you on the next one. We'll be here later today.